Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully installed Laravel default authentication system as a JD stream, right? Where we successfully done this job, right? Now we don't need this. Also, we migrate all that our database table that is one of the table as a user. Now you are able to register one of the new user. If you go to our project and also from now, I will push all that code to the GitHub. Now you are get a lecture by lecture all that code. I hope it will help you a lot. Okay, so I will push all that code to the GitHub which is totally fine and now that is our project so here now i want to do i want to register another new user as i told you that is a default here you don't need to create anything everything is ready made okay like i want to do and to register another new user and i just name it as a user and i use that name as email one of the email address as a user at the rate gmail.com and password i make it as udemy 12345 and udemy 12345 great now i want to register another new user click as a register yeah, you can see how much easy it is. Everything is ready made. So right now we are successfully logging by the name as a user. If you now go to our database, now that should be one of the new user. Click as a browse. Now you can see idea one, you, you name, I name it as a user. Email address is visible. Password is automatically one of the BTRIP password. Everything is in here. Okay, everything is in here. Now if you go, and that is also one of the menu as a user and there is a profile and the logout from here if you want to log out it will be successfully returned redirect to the logout okay and also if you now click as a logging i have already created one of the user as a user at the rate gmail.com and password udemy 12345 now if you click as a logging right now we are successfully logging okay everything is ready made now if you go to that user and there is a profile page okay they have also one of the default profile page and from to the profile you can see there's a profile information if you want to change that name you can change it you can change that email address so friend don't worry in project how to customize our total things i will also cover it like right now there is this update password option there are new password the confirmation password there is enable two-factory authentication you can enable it and and there is a browser session if you logging with our another browser it's automatically will be displayed in here if you want to delete this account you can delete it so that is default all the things so it actually comes from as i told you when you install the jd stream it's actually provided some of the file right if you go to the config into the config there is a file name as a fortify so into the fortify here there are some of the things like you can see there is a features for the registration features for the reset password features for the update profile information and also update password so if you want to make it as a comment out like i make it as a comment out for the update password now if you click as a save all and now our update password that means here that will be not display if you now click as a refresh now you can see it's totally gone that means right now everything actually comes from our wish file that is our fortify and from here that is all that our features okay right now i want to do and to enable that features as the update password now click as a save all and then that should be display click as a refresh yeah you can see it's again display and also that is in our profile information here if you want to display the images so that is another features that the among the features is comes from the, the config and if you go to the jd stream and from to the jd stream there is also another features um, you can see there is another features for the teams and the privacy policy profile photo api and the team now i want to do and to update our profile photo like here i open it i make it as a comment out now that should be display click as a save all now that should be display another field in here for the profile yes you can see it's now successfully display by default they are using that character avatar by default by my first name as a user for the reasons it's now get at that one of the user so if you want to change that image like i show you they have some of the issues i will solve it like i want to check some of the picture okay i will simply take some of the picture from here like for education purpose i use it now picture is successfully uploaded but right now if you click as a save now you can see this picture is broken it's broken because of all here that should be also updated in particular that position that is also broken like if you copy that image that means i want to copy and like from here i copy image address if you go and if you paste it now you can see it's now running into the local host and there is a storage and then the profile photo 
here we have to do first of all change that our name right now we are running our project our port name that is our port port name right i want to copy it now we have to update in our env if you go to our project into the project.env here you can see our app url right now default using as a local host but right now we are using that http 127.0.0.1 right so that is our port i make the sure here that should be not slash i simply remove it now if you click as a save all again i want to check it now i want to refresh it okay, i refresh it and i again i copy that image address and then i paste it okay here i paste it now you can see our app uh, that is updated right that is updated but that is the storage is not get it for this is our image is not display here if you want to update that e storage we have to also install one of the e storage link I, I show you when you install that e storage link automatically in the public it will be created one of the shortcut key i want to first of all install it like that is our project and that is our project appropriate project here i want to install as a php artisan and then e storage storage link okay I simply click as enter now you can see that the link has been created now if you go to your project you can see it's now created one of the storage folder and that is our public photo and that is our photo I have uploaded right now that should be accessible if you now click as enter yes you can see our photo is now accessible now that should be also display in here now click as a refresh yes it's successfully display that is also successfully display if you want to remove this image image will be gone if you select one of the new image like right now i choose my image image is successfully loaded i save it now that should be display in here and also it's successfully display in here great and now if you go to our dashboard so how all the things exactly work when you successfully logging then it's return redirect to the slash dashboard right I show you what exactly the things is happening behind this if you go to our root and that is our web php simply friend understand all that file structure then that will be very easy to you like if you go to our web.php when you install that laravel JDS team it's created one of the default route you can see there is a using one of the default middleware as the auth center middleware and there is a config jd stream auth section as i told you before that is in our config folder there is a jd stream one of the file and there is our auth section right so there is our config and then there is our jd stream and that is one of the file as a auth section so that is the authenticated session is responsible for this so here it's successfully loaded okay so now if you go and the inner web now you can see there is a config and that is a verified one of the group function when everything will be done when user is successfully done that will be written direct one of the route as a slash dashboard right now when you successfully done you can see there is a slash dashboard and that is the slash dashboard one of the view page is loaded there is a return view one of the dashboard page that means if you now go to our resources into the resources area here you can see that have on the view and with the view and that is the dashboard so by default that is one of the live using that liveware and liveware that is on the dashboard is loaded and that is on the text okay here you can see that is this part is one of one of the dev and there is also another dashboard if you want to remove it like here i want to simply remove that part okay that is if you select it you can see that is ended in here i simply remove it i make it as a this is the this is the new page i name it as a, this is the new page so that type of one of the message now that should be display click as a save all now if you go that should be gone click as a refresh yeah you can see now that is display this is a new page and that is our dashboard here if you also want to change it then that is the one of the navigation you can see that is one of the navigation so if you want to access that navigation that is in our wish place that is into the um, view and here you can see there is a navigation menu so that is the navigation menu is loaded there is a dashboard text and there is an authenticated user card and name is visible the setting everything is in here okay you can see there is a manage account if you want to also display that there is actually a logout logout is working okay everything actually comes from particular that page and if you want to display that authenticated user name you can also display it like here into the dashboard i want to do and to display I remove it i make it as a high i make it as a high now if you click as a save all now that should be changed the name it should be as a high 
refresh it yeah you can see it's now successfully displays a hack here i want to do i want to display which user is logging user logging name i want to display if you go to our database and that is our user and our field name as a name i want to display this name if you want to display it here they have also the common lines the same command i copied now in our dashboard after that high i name it as auth auth is one of the default middleware by this it should be checked that user is logging or not if this user is logging logging user name field i want to visible okay now that should be display the name if you click as a save all now our name i name it as a user now that should be display as a user now click as a refresh now you can see it's now display as a high user so as i told you that is all that our file so that is file in our view and that is a dashboard navigation dashboard privacy okay and also when you log out click as a log out now you can see it's redirected to our main page go to that logging so now that is one of the logging page that is one of the forget password page and also there is another one as a register if you go to that register so that is our register okay that is a register page so all that that is a view page that is actually comes from our which place that is in our view and that is our auth here you can see that is our logging page so that is a logging default page that is a register page that is a forget password page that is a confirm password all that blade page you can see that is all that our blade page so here if you want to change anything automatically that will be updated in here so that is our register page register page is responsible for you know auth and that is our register page here you can see there is a name field email field password and then the confirmation password the same things like name email password and the confirm password i hope friend you get some of the idea how jd stream file structure actually works so that is a pretty much basic all the things i hope you like it very much so from to the next video will work for our multi authentication system with using that jd stream so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video